Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. Welcome to today's episode of How You're Getting Effed. I'm your host, Lewis Rossman. On this channel, I spent a lot of time going over this concept called forced arbitration. Forced arbitration means that a company can take away your right to take them to court if they have screwed you. If LG has sold you a defective refrigerator and they said the warranty is this long and it was actually this long, you are not allowed to take them to court. And trust me, I know a lot of people that want to take people to court because they said it was this long and it was actually this long. Some of them might even be watching. In all seriousness, we have companies like Roku that have decided that they are going to take away your ability to use your television unless you opt into forced arbitration, literally changing the terms of the sale because they are that concerned about a data breach that they may be liable for. You have companies that are doing this now for socks. Socks, where they are saying in their terms that they can opt you into this agreement via email without your consent. But to opt out of it, you can't respond to the email. You, ha you can't mail them back a letter, you have to certified mail them back a letter to their address in the format of their choosing. Now, I want you to imagine that you go to a store to buy something and you look at the packaging and you see nothing on it that takes away your constitutionally granted rights as an American. But then you open the lid and you see this shit. Read this. By opening and using this product, you agree to be bound by our terms and conditions fully... I'm sorry, I'm not good at reading in a circle. <laughs> I'd probably be really bad if I got pulled over to doing the whole thing where you have to say the alphabet backwards. There is so, I, I could say the name of every single Apple motherboard backwards. I could start saying the board names backwards, but the charging chips forwards in reverse chronological order. I cannot say the alphabet backwards. And God forbid I was asked to read this, I would be put in prison. Read this. By opening and using this product, you agree to be bound by our terms and conditions fully set forth at our bullshit website dot whatever, which includes a mandatory arbitration agreement. If you do not agree to be bound, please return this product immediately. So you bought a product and it doesn't say on the outside of the product that they're taking away your rights as an American if there's any sort of issue with the product whatsoever. So if you put this stuff on your face, if you take this pill and it kills you, you cannot take them to court because of what it said inside the packaging. Not outside the packaging, inside the packaging. And this is the point that I try to get across with this forced arbitration shit. This is why I like to call this concept end user license agreement roofing. That's why I like to say that these companies, when they do this, have a rapist mentality. The reason is because they cannot get you to consent enthusiastically. They have to do it in some underhanded, slimy ass roofing way. They cannot put on the front of the packaging we are taking away your rights as an American when you purchase this. They have to put it inside the packaging where they think you are not going to read it. They cannot get you to agree to forced arbitration when you buy the television. So they have to take away your ability to use the television in order to get you to consent. And when they try to do it, you notice there's no disagree button. There's only an agree button because people with this mentality don't want you to be able to say no. They're not used to hearing no and they don't like hearing no. Now, there are a lot of people here that are saying everybody should return this to the store. I have an unpopular opinion. It's going to get me in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Probably shouldn't say this shit on camera. You know what I think people should do that bought this? I don't think they should return it to the store. I think they should file a chargeback. I have always said on this channel, do not accept the premise of assholes. And by returning this product to the store, you are accepting the terms of assholes and the premise of assholes in a number of different ways. The first is that you are being opted into a game without your consent, and now you just magically have to play by their rules. You did not start the game, nor did you accept the game of let's hide the terms of sale inside the box instead of outside the packaging. There are many laws in the United States that dictate what it is you need to put on the outside of the packaging. There are certain nutrition facts to go on the outside of the packaging. If it contains certain things, it's on the outside of the packaging. And the reason we do this is so that I, as a consumer, when I go to the grocery store, can make an informed decision based on what is on the packaging. And if we had lawmakers in the United States that were not pieces of shit, then we would have the ability to know when we go to Walmart or HEB or Pathmark or Kmart, whether or not this company has decided to take away your rights as an American to sue them if this product kills your wife and children. I did not opt into this game. You opted me into this game. And if you're going to opt me into that game, then I'm going to play it by my rules. And my rules say, I don't have to go back to the store. My rules say, you tried to waste 15 minutes of my life, so I'm getting this product for free. Which means I'm calling up Visa or MasterCard and I'm saying that I fucking got scammed because I did. This company made a cold and calculated decision that they were going to put this inside the box because they knew 
If they were sharing a shelf with other vitamins, other supplements, other shaving creams, whatever the fuck else it is that they sell, and everybody else's product didn't say this, but theirs said, by the way, if this product burns your skin off, you can't take us to court, that they would have less sales. And they knew that by putting it on the inside of the product and saying, if you don't like this, you can just go back to the store and return it, that that was going to be too much hassle for you. They wanted to create a pain point for saying no, which is what rapists do. I don't want to play rapist games. I don't get opted into games without my consent. And if I am opted into a game without my consent, I am not going to play it by your rules. I am going to play by my rules. I'm a simple man. I simply want to be notified and informed when I'm at a grocery store and there's three or four different products in the shelf, which one of these products is sold by a company that believes that if they kill me, they shouldn't be held accountable or responsible in a court of law. Is that so much to ask? Do I feel bad for Costco? Absolutely. Absolutely. Costco is a good business. They're good people. When I've been to Costco, I've gotten along with everybody who works there. They enjoy their job and they provide good deals to American consumers. However, in this particular instance, Costco has more responsibility here than you do. If I were selling hot air stations from Atten and it said, by the way, even though Lewis's website says you get this much warranty, you actually get nothing from either of us. You guys like me. I think I'm a likable person sometimes, sometimes, maybe 48% of the time, but you would be mad. Like I have an accountability here because I'm the one who took your money. So it is on Costco after this occurs to call up this vendor and say, hey, it looks like you tried to fuck over 10,000 of our customers. So we're not going to be paying you for that last order. Bye. And then they pass it on. I have had instances where I have been sold product that was faulty. And my customers were mad at me because that product was faulty, even though I was not the person who made it. I was just a middleman. I apologized to those customers. After apologizing to those customers, I had that call with that vendor where I said, hi, you tried to scam me and my customers. I'm not paying you for that last order. Fuck you. Goodbye. There needs to be a pain point here. And there needs to be a point of pain that is greater than you returning the item to Costco and them having to put it back on a shelf and send it back. Above all, that pain point should not be a pain point that accrues to you. On your bank's website, there are three clicks that you can probably make to say that this transaction was an item that was not as described, that it was a scam, that it was a fraud. I don't care where you purchase this item from. Can I be honest? I don't. If somebody is selling you something that is this scammy, there has to be a pain point. I don't care where it is anymore. And all I care about is that it gets passed back on to the person who started it. And this is a great way to do it without going out on a limb yourself. I see absolutely no reason that you should have to drive back to the store because a company fucked you. Even wasting eight cents of gas on this garbage is accepting the premise of assholes. I don't like to play asshole games. I don't suggest that you do either. And at this point in time, if you're saying I'm being too bombastic about this, there are companies that are trying to claim that when a restaurant on their premises says that we will serve people with food allergies and then they serve somebody with a food allergy, food that kills their wife, you opted into forced arbitration five years ago when you used a free trial of a streaming service, LOL, JK, we're not liable. We're past that point. When it came to Amazon and I talked about the fuses, I talked about the crimps, I talked about the fake reviews, I talked about the scam cards that were sent out to everybody, nobody gave a shit. And then somebody's cat. Somebody's, I'm not even going to say the words out loud. You get the point. When are we going to stop accepting the premise of assholes? When are we going to stop inconveniencing ourselves because we've been opted in to some other sociopath's game? You can opt me into your game. Maybe I'll play your game, but I'm going to play it based on my rules, not yours. And you're probably not going to like it. That's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.